to find me a Porsche to work on and what I came up with was probably short of what uh, is expected. This is a uh, obviously a uh, Volkswagen uh, Beetle but it is designed by Ferdinand Porsche. Ferdinand Porsche uh, was born in a town right beside where my wife grew up uh, in uh, Jablonetz which is Jablonz or something in German and uh, apparently he grew up partly in the, on the hill in Jablonetz called Porschach uh, which uh, apparently he lived there for a while and it's the same place where my wife grew up so I picked this uh, Volkswagen up because I couldn't find a Porsche uh, while I was peg hunting so this is a beautiful beautiful toy um, you can see the the detail on it is incredible 1961 BTL it's beautiful it's got the headlights painted look at look at this fantastic VW logo on the hood I I opened this thing up thinking okay I'm gonna strip it paint it with a fancy paint job but you know what I couldn't do it I was up against the time constraint because I had trouble finding a Porsche so my my Porsche Volkswagen is uh, what goes in and I decided um, I'm not going to I'm, uh, after a while of thinking of what I'm going to paint it like I said I'm not going to strip this thing because I'm not going to be able to reproduce those details so I, I, at this point I was still thinking I, I am going to repaint this thing so I was taking I took the base off uh, in my usual way I put it into the milling machine and I got a nice uh, beautiful sharp drill and I took the top I'm going to do something with this toy and I decided to it's a 63 so it would have been a perfect thing in the late 60s early 70s uh, for hippies to buy because it would have been a used car and being a Volkswagen they didn't have a really long lifespan as a new car and so people were selling these things as used cars and you could get them very very cheap I remember when I was in high school in the 70s you could buy one of these for hundred and fifty dollars and I thought about it and I never did should have so putting a couple of things that make it into a, a hippie vehicle one is the peace sign 
and the other is the uh, flower power sign. These decals are printed using white toner and then I printed on top of the one layer of white toner that has just the shape of the flower. I painted the color version straight on top of the printed decal that came out of the printer. Most of the time you're warned when you're trying to print white and then try to print color on top that you're going to get a mismatch. But in this case I actually thought that the color wasn't bright enough so I ran it through twice. So it ran three times and all three times it registered perfectly. So I guess Some of the detail on the base just to make it a little more interesting. Now the sides of this base uh, sticking out uh, further than the body that's because they are in fact running boards. So I remember these. My aunt had one of these uh, and and they had a running board with some black rubber on them and then and there was a, a, a silver portion that was sticking out. That's, how, that's as I remember it. I didn't actually look up
is you can't really see it unless you look really really closely so here this is the reason why you should look at the screen while you're doing the assembly of a model so basically you put the windshield in you put the seats in and the base on and then snap those uh, rivets through the holes so there it is it's a nice roller and then I go in and do the detailing. I had a little bit of trouble because there's these door handles on here that that stick up quite a bit, which is a problem for these for these decals. So I had to cut holes in the decals. It's not the greatest. But I think it came out pretty good anyway. For the base, I got my JB weld. This stuff is this must be 20 years old. I uh, I'm going to have to buy some new JB Weld. And I mix it up using a piece of an old credit card, which is my usual trick. I put these in here because this is going to go with, uh, uh, Andrew wants these things to uh, be given away. And this one is going to be given to my five-year-old uh, son. detailing. Until next time, be seeing you.